Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Penavel and today I am building the Great Fur Lodge Speed Build. Okay, that was an entrance. Okay, we'll, we'll run with it. We're do it's fine. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so out of practice. I'm always out of practice. But anyways, if you're interested in this build, you can download it off of the gallery. My origin ID is PinappleYT. This is a vacation lot. Technically, I built it for... Oh, the one with the woods. It's not Gravity Falls. Uh, Granite Falls. There we go. Okay. <laughs> in my defense, they sound similar. One is a television show. Um, the other is in The Sims. But, you know, we're here. I, I'm a little bit sick, I think. So we'll just blame it on that. But anyways, I built this a long time ago. Oh, my gosh. I don't like a month over a month ago this is the last of the pre-recorded videos so Ooh, we'll see how it goes i am actually done with my summer quarter though um so hopefully i'll be able to get some stuff done fingers crossed to help keep the youtube channel going but like i, I feel like i'm clinging on to it by just like the bearish traces of my very very short fingernails they're not very good. They're actually quite short. Uh, they're they're very flexible fingernails, so I've never really been able to grow them because they just bend. It doesn't hurt. I know you're probably wincing if you have really strong, tough nails, um, but mine just they're just weird. It's it's hereditary. Like my mom, basically one day I was like complaining about my nails, and she was like, she just kind of sat me down. She's like, I'm sorry, we just don't have good nails. It's just not a family trait that we possess. I'm sorry. Like that, and also, although I disagree with this one, she doesn't think that our family can wear hats or the color yellow. So, <laughs> I, I, and because of that, I very, very rarely wear a hat or the color yellow. I'm trying to slowly bring it back into my life because it's ridiculous that I, my family wouldn't be able to wear hats or the color yellow. I don't, I don't know. She also wouldn't, when she was still buying my clothes, she wouldn't let me wear black because she said that only old people wear black. And I think when she said old people, she meant people above the age of 20. But, you know, with my mom, I can't ever really be sure. But anyways, we've gotten really far into this. Uh, <laughs> what am I building? So basically, I built like a like a resort, lodge type thing. And so the upstairs is kind of the, has the communal spaces. It has like a big like seating area and a big um, like eating area and a big cooking area. Well, okay, the kitchen's not that big. But it's the bottom half that has like all of the bedrooms in it. And so I feel like you can't really rent this out to more than one like family at a time, but you could pretend. That's a, There's a lot of pretending that goes along with The Sims. But right now I'm just kind of trying to figure out the general layout. I think I was looking at a picture at the time. I don't quite remember. I was mostly winging it. Um, and so it, this one did quite take quite a whole ha he ha. That ran away from me. This one did take quite a long time. Wow, that wasn't even that big of a sentence to say. But this build was, it didn't help that at one point in this build, a horrendous glitch happened. And I'm not even going to talk about it right now. I'll talk about it when we get closer because it was just devastating hilarious but devastating um, <laughs> but one of the things I definitely wanted to do with this build was use we got this like awning in get together a long time ago that's the second expansion pack for the sims 4 that came out and I've only ever used it once or twice but I really really wanted to use it and you'll see in a little bit how I did but like I merged it with the oh here it is ha I merged it with the roof to make it like only that little front detail part stick out and like the roof actually covers like the little roofy bit because I wanted to I wanted that little accent there but I didn't want the whole roof thing so I did that with all of them basically what I did was I put down a wall behind the roof and so the roof had to be taller than that wall um so that way the awning could stick to something and then I extended the roof over it and voila it actually wasn't that hard but I was really pleased with the outcomes I sized up the stuff um, for one of them, I don't think I sized it up. I think I just left it. Um, yeah, right here. And that one I just set down on the ground, and that worked out. I didn't need to put a wall there. 
And I was doing that because I was trying to avoid anything from falling. Sometimes that happens when you use move objects on, especially if you're using something that's supposed to be attached to a wall. When you then place it, it's no longer floating. Although really it just depends on whether or not you put it in a room. Um, yeah, I've talked about this before. But oh my gosh, I feel like I'm just fighting snot. <laughs> that's attractive, I know. But more so sore throat. I actually... I felt like I was perfectly fine. I went out with my friends and we went to some very, very loud places and I was yelling most of the night, but like when I went to bed, I felt fine. But when I woke up the next morning, I was like, <gasps> and it was painful and that was painful. And I regret doing that for thematic effect, but hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm sure, I'm sure that was such a pleasant sound to have in your ear. I'm sure you enjoyed every single second of it. I'm sure that your finger is hovering over the rewind button just so you can play it like five times in a row. Go ahead. I understand. Um, oh, wow. I'm such a weirdo. <laughs> gosh. Um, but one of the things I wanted to do with this build is I really wanted to use the warm tones of wood. I feel like I very rarely use them, like the sort of warmer, almost orangey, like umber tone. And like, that's one of the like established wood tones. You almost always have it like throughout all the different swatches because not all the swatches have the same wood tones, which is very infuriating, but you know, that's not what we're here to talk about. Uh, well, actually it kind of is, but I really wanted to use it because I haven't really before. I generally gravitate towards the light wood tones or the dark wood tones that are very like ashy or cool tone browns versus the warm browns. So, you know, oh, sorry, that was a yawn. Also very professional, but it was a little difficult to use because then I wanted to use this really stripy wallpaper that almost looks like big logs that we got in Outdoor Retreat. And so then I was not sure what to use with them. And I ended up going with like this sort of dark wood accented with the light wood. And that just opened a whole wormhole into wood tone matching that just never ending in this build. Oh my gosh, you'll see it on the inside, but like I, at one point I like looked at an interior and I counted how many wood tones I had and it was like eight in one room. And I was like, this is madness, but I honestly don't know what to do. <laughs> Like, it's not my fault that the Sims team doesn't really match their wood tones, but I really wanted this giant table, like very, I don't know, just lodge-like. Um, also, I added these little beams there to make it look really cute, and here I'm building a little info desk. Um, but yeah, I also, you know, I wanted to incorporate some of these lighter wood tones because I didn't want the whole thing to be super dark, because in real life, it can look really good, it can look really rustic, but some stuff just does not transfer over well to The Sims, and I didn't think that would. Um, but yeah, here you can see I'm laying out the rooms. Going, oh, I hit the mic, I'm sorry, I don't know if you heard that. It might sound like a spring sound, but probably not. <laughs> but yeah, so I ended up having three master bedrooms and then one bedroom with two kids' beds, and so I think that means eight Sims in total, which is the maximum you could have a lot. So... But unless you have like three couples and two kids, it doesn't quite make sense. So really, I would say it's more of a lot for five to eight Sims, depending on how comfortable you are with them sleeping in the same bed. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Although sometimes the Sims will put up a fight. They'll be like, no, I don't want to sleep in this bed with this completely random stranger. And you're like, just do it. There's nowhere else for you to sleep. And they're like, no, I'll just sleep on the couch and be very uncomfortable, which is very realistic, but then very annoying <laughs> when it happens in game. Oh my gosh. But I wanted all of these rooms to look really nice and comfy on the inside. And you can see there's just like, it's just like a wood tone extravaganza. That's what I should have named this, wood tone extravaganza instead of great fur lodge. Great fur is a type of fir tree. I didn't name this great comma fur lodge. I don't think this is a fantastic fur lodge. I think it's a great fur lodge. Oh, Penelope. Oh, Penelope. But yeah, so mostly I'm doing the interior of these rooms. I think I'll talk about the glitch now. Oh my god. The glitch was awful. So I, to preface this, I saw this happen to somebody on Twitter, like they showed it and I was like, huh, what a funny glitch, you know, like it was very distant, very like far away from me. I like felt a little bit of sympathy, but mostly I was like, that's really funny. That's really funny to look at. Um, well, 
So the glitches, I lowered the foundation on this build so I can put some like plants around there, do some landscaping because otherwise the plants try and hop up to be at the level of the foundation and it makes landscaping really hard. So that's a really good trick if you're doing landscaping with move objects on is to lower your build to foundation, but save your build before you do that. I don't, I don't know how often this is going to happen. It's only happened to me once so far. Thank goodness. But the thing is, <laughs> I lowered my, my floors down and the furniture stayed down. So it was like the floor was quicksand and the furniture, just the tippy tops of it was peeking out. The tops of chairs, a little bit of the thing. And you're like, oh, well, you know, just raise it back up. Well, see, see that happened when I did raise it back up. And so when I put it back down, it was still stuck. And like, I like would take the room and move it to a higher floor and the furniture, you'd look at it and it would just be hanging from the room. So, uh, uh, uh. And so the, th <laughs> the thing is, you couldn't save everything. <laughs> like the rug, you could just never get that back because it was beneath the level of the, the floor. And so it was just <sighs> very frustrating. <laughs> um, especially because I had saved my build after that happened because I didn't notice it happen. So I had saved it afterwards. Um, and so I had to spend like a good hour and a half going through and like rescuing everything. And how I did that was I took one of the rooms, one room at a time, I took it, put it on the second floor so I could then grab the furniture from underneath it and then put it back in the room where it belonged. It was, it was really frustrating. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Like it happened when I was on stream too. And I was just like shell shot. I was like, I don't even know what to do now. But luckily it got fixed and I will, I'm sure I will have put pictures in. But that was just the biggest glitch I've ever seen in The Sims 4. And like when it happened to me, like when I saw it happen to somebody else, I was like, oh, that's kind of funny. When I saw it happen to me, I was like, haha, this is not funny anymore. This is painful. Um, I was fine. It's I was less fine then, but I'm I'm just glad it happened when I was doing a build that wasn't for school or not. Sorry, I'm just glad it happened before I started school cuz if this had happened now, the build would have been lost. It would have never gotten done. I would have just been like I'm done, I'm gone. But this is a really cute build, or at least I like how it turned out. Um each room feels really cozy. All the rooms have like a little coffee pot in them, and I imagine that there's a mini fridge stuck in one of those little cabinets. There's not, because we don't have those, but I like to imagine it. You know, each room has like a dresser and a bed and you know, they all have an ensuite, which is nice. So it's very hotel lodge like and I each room is different too. They're not all the same because I thought that might be a little bit boring. And so, you know, each room has its own little personality. And so that's fun. I do like that. But yeah, that's most of my notes on the bill. I have a couple more. I put some suitcases down because I thought that would look cute. Um, you know, like, oh gosh, yeah, super cute, like yawning. Um, like, you know, they came, put their suitcases down, did their thing. But yeah, so, and everything turned out good in the end. Um, but yeah, so, I guess I should tell a story. I went kayaking the other day. Um, I beasted it. I was amazing, which I kind of knew I would because I've done kayaking trips in the past. Um, I got some gnarly blisters <laughs> on my thumbs. Like, it, it wasn't a blister in that the skin raised up. It was just that the skin was worn away. Why do I keep talking about gross stuff on my channel? I apologize. I just do, but the, it's been a week ago and they're just now healing, like fully. I might even have scars from it, but it was fun kayaking and I felt very accomplished because I went with one of my friends who I thought would be more athletic than me, but I ended up being more athletic and I'm very competitive and so I was very pleased with that result. But yeah, like every once in a while I'd like turn around and she'd be like a few feet back and I have to stop and wait and she, at one point she was even like, slow down. I was like, yes. I've won. I've won this battle of wills. <laughs> uh, but it was interesting, though. I, she, like, we went to this one place that was really, like, kind of narrow cha cha channels. 
um, and some logs sticking up in the water, so it was a little difficult to navigate. Uh, both of us got stuck at one point. But the interesting thing is, over, like, wide open expanses of water, I was much faster than her, but she was faster than me over the little, like, areas. And I kind of had, like, this little epiphany, and, like, I think it's because what I'm so, like, I, I've been you know, large my entire life. And so I have like this idea of how much space I take up and I'm very conscious of that. And I try not to take up too much space because it's kind of been socially programmed into me. And this isn't a good thing, but like it's been socially programmed into me that I take up too much space. And this can be true of anyone of any size, but just like, that's one of the things that I'm trying not to like, I take up enough space. That's how I try and see it. I take up enough space for me to be comfortable. And I deserve that space just as anybody else deserves the space but anyways I'm very like conscious of it so when I was trying to navigate things I was like oh I don't know am I gonna fit and my friend was just like going for it and we got stuck the same amount of times but she was just like going for it and I realized it's probably because she's never really had to worry about whether or not she would fit into a space which was really interesting for me to see how that just would affect something as simple as or like our kayaking style. Anyways, I put little books by the, the front desk because I almost thought that maybe there'd be like nature guides and you could read them. I also put one of the new scout boards in front of the um, door. Almost like a, this is what's happening at the lodge. And I love that they added scouts to uh, the Sims. I haven't played with it at all because I don't actually play this game. I just build stuff in it. Um, but I don't even know if anyone can use because I don't play test it. But <laughs> I know, um, but I was a Girl Scout, and that's how I, you know, know about the, the, the kayaking type thing, but anyways, that's my big kayaking story, that's about it, oh my gosh, I feel like, you know, I do so much more now, and yet I feel like I still have no stories to tell or everything's so mundane. Like now all I can think of is, oh, by the way, um, my pharmacy changed its hours. And so now I, I can almost never go to it because they changed their hours. They used to be open until like 10 in the evening on weekdays. And now they're only open till five, which is a normal pharmacy hours. But I'm like, but how am I going to get there? <laughs> I mean, I can now because I'm out of school. Have I? No. Is it is it literally like a five minute walk away? Yes. Am I gonna do it eventually? <laughs> Why are you harassing me about it? Anyways, I put these two little benches on the ends of the table. Your Sims can't sit and eat at the table in those. I don't even know if they can sit on them. They can sit at the other chairs, but it just looks so cute. The bench just looks so cute. I had to put it there. But you can see here's an example of me just trying so many things so many things to try and get it to work and to look nice because there's just so many wood patterns going on in here and it's it's a lot i just saved you guys from the world's largest sniffle <laughs> i i like i sniffled and i was like oh it's probably not that loud and then i kind of thought about how close i am to the mic and so i went back and like re-listened to it it was like <laughs> earthquake inducing so <laughs> i cut that out <laughs> Because just because I'm sick, it doesn't mean you guys have to really know, like, how much mucus I'm producing at any given moment. But anyways, I also thought of what else I can talk about. I am 25 now. I had a birthday a couple days ago, and I did celebrate it a little bit on stream. Nothing too big, because I was so tired <laughs> from finals. Like, I had my birthday on the 16th, and I had a final that day. And then I had to study for an even bigger final the next day. And then I had stream on a Saturday. And so by that point, I was like, pooped, pooped. I was, oh, <laughs> and I was like, oh, maybe I could do some like sort of confetti animation or I could do, I don't know, you know, all those cool, fancy things that people do when they stream on their birthdays. No, <laughs> I put up a little pug, pug banner that you couldn't even see it. I, I knew it was there though. I put it up. They were wearing little party hats. Um, and I put it in the title of my stream and that's it. Nothing fancy for me. <laughs> I just couldn't be bothered, but it was a good birthday. I, I mean, as good as it could be for having school on the same day, 
But I got tiramisu. That's what I get on my birthday instead of cake because I love it. It's my favorite dessert. My boyfriend went out and got some for me. And basically, like, I was at school from 8 to 7. And I just studied as much as I could until I felt like I couldn't study anymore. I wasn't retaining any more knowledge. And then I cut myself off at 7. I was like, no more studying. It's your birthday now. Like, the test is tomorrow, but you... You've reviewed the material and you pretty much know everything you're going to know anyways. So I'm not going to like torture myself for another three hours on my birthday to learn one or two more things. And I think I did good. I don't know. It's not over. But the, my class is past fail this quarter, just this quarter. Um, so I definitely passed. Definitely. No doubt about it. Um, so yeah, but I did this really cool trick with the fireplace where I, I rose, I took one of those like little fireplaces you put on the ground and I rose it up like a like little barbecue spit or whatever and put it on a little table because I just thought that was so cute and I thought it looked more patio instead of like put it in the middle of your yard type thing and I love how it turned out. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a fire hazard. It does work. Okay, to make it... <laughs> I did actually test this, um, mostly because I wanted it for my screenshots or for my, my intro. Uh, basically, you remove the table, light the fire, put the table back underneath it, and then it'll burn for a little bit, and you're good. I think it's probably a fire hazard, but it's a pretty fire hazard. It's gonna, it's gonna burn, but it's gonna look good. So, you know, it's gonna go down in flames, but... It's just going to strike a very cool pose before it does. But just be be careful. Um, That's my warning to you. But if you put this on a rental property, you should be fine. You don't have to pay for that anyways. It's a rental. Oh, I love how that's really not how that works. You usually have to pay more for damages to a rental than you would to your own apartment. That kind of thing. Oh my god, can you hear how scratchy my voice is? But the glitch still hasn't quite yet happened. Um... I think it happens at the very, very end. I like, maybe, I forget. I, I can't remember whether or not I slowed down the exact moment that my my life was ruined for at least a little. I'm so melodramatic. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm just so dramatic. I can't, like. <sighs> Anyways, so I put a cute little sign here. And I like how it turned out. But I think we're actually coming up on the end of the build. Um, I might as well do my spiel now. If you like this video, feel free to give me a like, a comment, or subscribe. I haven't actually managed to say the full bit of that in a while. Because usually I get cut off at the end. And I'm like, oh, well. They're going to do it eventually. Like, I, I'm not one to really push for the like and subscribe and comment. Because I kind of figure that people will do it if they want to. And... <laughs> It's a good reminder for people, and I'm not, like, against anyone else doing it, but just for me, I'm like, whatever. Eventually. That's probably why I'm not big. Every once in a while, I'll get one of those comments like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that you're not blah, blah, blah big, and I'm like, oh well. <laughs> It'll happen eventually. Uh, oh, I think the moment of my demise is coming up really soon. It was a specific fern that I was having difficulty placing, so I moved the the foundation down and then regretted all of my life choices. Like I said, dramatic. I'm also just like have a sore throat and so I'm like okay let's get this over with um because let's be more dramatic every word is like a knife stabbing down my throat it's really not it's more of a minor like inconvenience but I mean while we're being dramatic what was I even talking about oh I guess I could talk about my schedule <laughs> why do you guys listen to me <laughs> I'm so disorganized so all over the place I can't but um schedule will be weird it'll be weird I'm trying to get some stuff together work on some stuff to get some more videos out definitely they're not gonna happen any faster but you know I'm gonna try I have some time off and I'm gonna be moving during that time but I'll still try and get things done here I think is where it happens but anyways I hope that you guys oh oh there <laughs> there that's where it happens I hope you guys all really enjoyed this build and yeah I will see you guys next time goodbye